This is what I want to know. When you are planning to see huh? marry me. <laughs> How many kids you want if ever in the future? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to DNA Vlog. Hello! Here we go again. So, my boyfriend was gonna tell you what's our vlog today. So, here's my boyfriend. Hey everybody! Once again, welcome back Hi. to the vlog. Hi! So, today's uh, video, what are we going to do is that we are going to have random questions. And uh, my son is going to ask me some question answers. Some questions are uh, basically regarding maybe about Philippines or about what she wants to know or what she wants to know about me and maybe some things she wants to you know try and uh, make me doubt or she wants to know some truth so I do not know because I don't know I do not know what are the questions being said by her I have no idea I have no clue about it Hope you guys will enjoy this uh, question answer session. Let's all wait, okay? Let's go, let's roll. So okay. guys, I already prepared the questions for him. <laughs> I'm so excited to ask. Oh, you're making me scared. Yeah, this is very interesting now. and you will really gonna think about it very, very hard. So, guys, the first question is... Hmm, what do you think about Filipinos? Oh, what do I think about Filipinos? Like, in general or just... Yeah, in general. Like in general. Specific? Okay, in general. So, um, well, before <clears throat> meeting you, when I joined this company, right? Um, I've had a lot of friends. So, you know, you know who it was. It was a very good experience uh, having uh, different friends from Philippines and uh, I, my colleagues, all the colleagues were uh, Philippines so it was quite uh, much easier for me to understand because what I thought normally, I think every Filipino and every Indian also would accept, would agree with that mm -hmm. that uh, we, have been, we have been told from our ancestors or from our ancestors, there's a mindset that, you know, hello, please don't talk to Indians, you know, they are not good, they are very, you know, stinky or maybe uh, not trustworthy. Same, same thing for us, like, okay, uh, do, do, not, do not go to Filipinos, don't talk much to them and all sort of things, you know. So, again, that is just a myth, that is just a thing, a mentality where people think about. So, according to me, everybody is individual and every person is individual. So, again, in general, I would say they are really good people and they are, uh, they are very uh, helpful. Question number two is, is it difficult to have a Filipina girlfriend and why? It is not difficult to have a Filipina girlfriend because I'm only having, a, having one. If at all, I wouldn't have one. Also, I believe it's not difficult because it just depends to that individual how he or she takes it because if you really love somebody you will definitely make it happen no matter yeah, what true. it just it's 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 just it's just a, it's just a matter of uh, love understanding and the other mm. people and how trustworthy you are yeah yeah, yeah yeah doesn't matter from which country you come from what caste what religion what you know blah 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 sort of mm. thing so um, yeah, so I, I don't think so uh, it, it would matter. 
So yes, it's not. It's nothing difficult. It's it's easy. Question number three. Oh, this is what I like. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to know. <clears throat> What do you think of me when you saw me for the first time? <laughs> do I really need to answer this question? Yeah, of course. That's a question, no? One of the questions you should answer that. So the first time when I saw you, uh, I was like, okay, yeah, she's good. Yeah, like, look, look, why she's good, good looking, But I did tell him one thing, like, are you sure, bro? She looks like a kid. Okay. She's just like she, she, she's like literally. I thought you know. I thought you were just eighteen, maybe below eighteen. Like, I, I yeah, know. of course. See, I'm because you, you, you were so. I'm look young. I'm look young. You know what? But the thing is, yeah. The only thing I thought I thought you you, you were like you were a kid, you know, just you know, like you want to the cruise. Okay. Next question number okay, four. Like, did you ever feel to give up this relationship because of this long distance relationship? Uh, honestly, yes, I did feel sometimes because uh, it's 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 very normal to every mm -hmm. other couple they would feel the same. You yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah, true. Because it's difficult sometimes because of different mm -hmm. countries and it's uh, not easy. Different, national, different cultures mm -hmm. and you're far. You never know. When you're going to meet some for the next time. So initially, mm. yes, and in between, sometimes I used to have fights. I was like, I used to get annoyed. You know, like, yeah, yeah I'm really done with this. Like, I can, I can't, I cannot take it no more anymore. Mm. You know, you know, you know, our friends, they, they're telling oh, you're fighting. Yeah, we're not perfect. Now we're, we're always fighting. You don't know. Yeah. So, some of our friends yeah, are asking. Fact, see, in a, in a, mm. in a couple, in a couple, there should be fights. There should be love. There should be everything. Mm. That is how. Yeah. A, uh, a relationship will really work because when because it's simple logic. When there is good, there is bad. Mm. So because God is always God is not just going to give you sugar, sugar, sugar. He's always going to give you some salt as well. Yeah. So we have to we have to taste both and walk with mm. the light, move ahead with the light. So yeah. So yes, I honestly I did feel sometimes, but there was one thing in my heart which was which was just telling me like, okay, no, you. Like you know, you have these two minds: subconscious mind and your other mind. So always there was another mind telling me, "Oh, you, you love this girl, and she is the one for you." And mm. trust me, I never felt for anybody like how I felt for you. The way I feel for you, I never felt for anybody else. Yeah, I did feel, but I'm still there because I love you. Yeah, me so too. You know, of course, uh, of course, you're just human. You will feel that. Yeah, so that's what mm. it's very normal. It just depends on you how you take it, and especially. And I would just give, would like to give a suggestion or an advice to other couples who are going along, mm. uh, who want to watch this video, and you know, no matter you are together or you are the same nationality or you are different nationality, it doesn't matter. It's it just depends on you both how you take it, yeah. how strong you are mm, in your true. love, how strong how, in your how you tough, are with your understanding, how tough your love is. Yeah, how tough your love is, and how mm. you understand each other, mm -mm. and how you understand the situation. No matter you're rich, poor, or whatever, you know. In in a long and, distance and, and, relationship, you will come to know, my hand, if it's love or infatuation. Cause love, yeah, exactly. you will stay. If it's infatuation, just like us, we just yeah, met just on board. Go. Yeah, you cannot yeah, you exactly. cannot take it the long distance. You will Perfect. just left. Yeah. Yeah, and and the second, and, the, and there's there's one more, one more reason where uh, the relationships break because of the uh, situations. You know, like okay, for mm. example, uh, the other nationality girl is not rich enough, and the guy is rich, but she's finding difficult. Or maybe the guy is not rich or something. Or both are not rich and both are finding difficult. The financial issues. Okay, when should we fly? How to fly? Mm. And you know, all these things matter. So it's just that if you have the faith in God and you have the faith yeah. in this relationship, mm. it will happen. Just need to have yeah, patience. Okay. number five. What do you think about my Filipino family? First time when I uh, uh, started knowing your family and started, uh, you know, video calling and spoke mm. with everybody in person, like, you know, 
Trust me, I really felt that in your family, keeping you aside, everybody is amazing. You are like Kachara. Kachara. <laughs> they all are good and very uh, uh, fun and loving and enjoying. So everybody is cool. Everybody is nice. Question number six. What is your favorite Filipino food? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But I like I like the dessert. It's it's you know, it's it's you know those uh, those pastas, and then they have fruits added in that. Ah, fruit and salad, fruit salad. Great. Yeah, fruit salad, but it it works like condensed milk, I guess. Yeah, fruit salad, fruit salad. There's a condensed milk. Yeah, fruit condensed milk. That yeah, we have on board that also, and they're yeah, making. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Mm. I really love that uh, fruit salad with condensed. Milk. Mm. I I never tried that in India. Yeah, I will go in Adobo because. Because I like because it's made with soya sauce, right? Yeah, I like soya sauce. it's very famous on yeah, board. Yeah, I like what you mm. call it, fruit salad and adobo. But again, now that's because I've only tried limited because mm. I haven't been to Philippines yet. Yeah, yeah. So soon, soon I will be maybe in coming years. But that is it. So definitely is going to change my favorite part. So then we then we make another question and <laughs> yeah. Okay, now what is your favorite food since you've been in Philippines? <laughs> <laughs> I like Jollibee. Yeah, no, you like Jollibee. Yeah, I the like chicken. The first time I was in Dubai. I I feel yeah. hungry Let's. now because of Jollibee. Let's do more. <laughs> okay, here's your question number seven. When you are planning to see, huh? you know, marry me. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics. Why are you asking me this question? No, I just saw that no on the like most most question of the girls to their boyfriend. I want to know also if you have plan. You just want to be. To be your girlfriend for the lifetime, for the rest of your life, or, or you're planning to marry? Am I planning to marry? Um, once I have a lot of money. Why? Huh? When it will happen? When I get old? When I cannot get pregnant? Kacharan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's I'm not excited. about money. You should marry me, anyhow. Very, very serious. Like, you know, this this pandemic happened. That's why it's our mm. years have been moved ahead. Or as you know, we were planning to get engaged. Right? Mm. But okay, no problem. We'll, I will soon. I really want. To and and then, in. guys, we're not we're not in a hurry. Like we have so much plan life. Like Anthony, yeah, is... he has plan for his family, for Mama, for Dada to give them like. House first. Yeah. There's a right time. See, God always. Yeah, in a right time. In a right time. Like mm-hmm. when, when it has to happen, it really yeah, does yeah. happen. Yeah, yeah. Question number eight. How sure are you that I am the one? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am sure. You are the one because I love you, and I truly love you, and I love you. You really make me happy, and. Like when you came to my life, things were literally different. I had different purposes in life. I never knew what I what I had to do with my life. So when you came into my life, like I I had a clear vision. You know, okay, this is it. Now I know. You know, my family and you. That's my life. Question number nine. How many kids you want if ever in the future? How many kids you want, my darling? What does it? Doesn't you want you you like really? You always telling me no, sweetheart. I don't want I don't want you to get pregnant because I don't want you to get hurt. You always telling me that. Let, let's just adapt. I cannot imagine you in that, uh, looking you in that pain, you know. Mm, but so, it's normal. No? It's nature. Yeah, I know it's normal. I know it's normal. Definitely, even I, I, I would like to have. Uh, Honestly, how many kids you want? Maybe two. two. Question number ten. 
what kind of girlfriend I am. Am I sweet, loving, caring? You are a mixture of all. Of everything. Mm. Yeah. So, you are sweet at the time of sweet. You are caring at the time of caring. You are loving and, you know. But at the same time, you are very annoying. And you are very, uh, very, 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 very annoying sometimes. But, yeah. You are good. Mm. You're really, really good person. That's how. That's what I really like about you. Because you are very honest with your feelings. You are a genuine person. Very straightforward. Man. That's the thing that I like about you. You don't. You're not. You're not being plastic. You're not being. You're just being yourself. Ah. So yeah, guys. We will be. Uh, we will be coming up with our next video when I will be asking uh, ten questions to Max Vida. Yeah. Yeah. So wait for it and stay tuned to us. Okay. If you if you really like or if you need some uh, suggestions for us or if you want us to do something, just comment down in the in the comments and let us know what you want us to do. We can do it. And what are we trying to do is just trying to bring a smile on everyone's face. I know yeah. it is difficult for everybody in the situation, but we just trying to get a smile on everybody. So that's it, and uh, please do like, subscribe, and click the bell icon also so that you know when our when our when we post. Yeah, they're course. they're updated, yeah. Mayan. So bye bye, guys. Thank you for watching. This go crew bar in the crew bar hand. Yeah. See that's how that's how he dance in a crew bar. <laughs>